up guys it's me Sinto in this video I will tell you about the new discus fish pair I have got also towards the end of this video I will ask a question about the big changes that are coming to the uh, fish room if you answer it you can win a gift voucher worth up to rupees 500 from Amazon so stay tuned till the end of the video I did some changes to my fish room this week as you can see there are now two breeding tanks one here and one here and this was the tank which was sitting here I replaced it here and put all the young java ponds that I had in that now there are three small black mollies if you have been watching my previous video I have kept three small black mollies which I got from the parent sadly their parents died that was a different story and there were some stunted discus here that I kept in this tank. Now I have transferred it to that grower tank. And these are the stunted discus. This one, this one. This guy is telling me that I was not stunted. As you can see, it is telling me. But it is a stunted discus. Even after one year, it is not growing to the big size. While his fellow brothers and sisters, you can see here. Look at the size of them. They are about 3 inches sizes. So what I did, I found a naturally occurring pair. These two are the new discus pair I got. I have transferred them to this tank. They were laying eggs but after recent water change they have eaten all the eggs. This is the second discus pair I have now. And this is the first discus pair I got from the first batch of discus which I bred in my fish room. As you can see there are about 10 young discuses. After about 30 days they have to be removed from the parents because they develop some teeth like thing and they will bite off the skin of the discus which is bad for discus because discus easily get infections in the water now that i have a temperature heater so not much disease occur also i recently found that if you add uh, this magnesium sulfate or epsom salt they are very good for the discus fish if they have any kind of disease like thing the Epsom salt are very good for them. Epsom salt is uh, also called magnesium sulfate. They speed up the metabolism of the discus and get rid of any infections if they have them. This is the healthy discus compared to this one. So I have high hopes on this discus pair. They laid about 400 eggs here. They have eaten it. It was the first time so they have eaten the eggs and uh, I think they will again lay the eggs. I have ordered a breeding cone of about 20 bucks or 1000 Indian rupees and see if it is good for it. If it is good I will order more breeding cones for this discus pair. So the problem here is that after this, this young discus grows like the, you can see they are growing fast I am feeding them the baby branch here that I was growing here this is the temporary setup I built for baby branch stream but I found that it is not that good because I can feed only after every three days if I, I can feed daily some setup should be arranged where uh, there are about three to four branchium hatcheries and daily I can take some and feed them so I am trying to build a modern branchium hatchery this is the nano tag get some young java ponds narrow, narrow leaf java ponds they are on my website you can buy them and order them there is also some discussers on my website that you can order if you want this one and if you are living locally I can give this uh, standard discus 
not that they are stunted they have developed some good coloration you cannot see this kind of coloration anywhere this is somewhat low cost discuss because the pigmentation is looking not that good on them so their cost will be very low if the buyers come to buy them the store discusses are very good you never get a hatch rate where all the discusses are not, uh, fully developed and good looking you will get some discusses which are stunted or underdeveloped like this one even after one year they are not getting maybe it is the genetics or some kind of things that are happening inside their body they are not growing that fast this is the first mother uh, who gave birth to all these discusses you can see here this one also is her children look at the size of them if you look closely they are bigger than their mothers yeah and this one is the turtle tank this is my radius slider turtle she is a female and her name is adina for those who don't know she is doing well i have added the uv lamp and after adding that look at the shells of them it has become so hard Sorry. and it is not good idea to mess with them because their bites are very nasty you look at the lips of them uh, it is very sharp don't try to capture the radius slider turtle like this uh, exposing your hand to the mouth because they bite very quickly like snake and if they bite you they will take out some chunks of the flesh and they will leave some nasty wound anywhere on the hand or wherever it is coming in contact with also i have read that their saliva do contain some bag bacteria like salmonella which is which causes diseases in humans so always wash your hands after handling with the turtles and as far as the tank is concerned it is looking good everything is good going good with the turtle tank i do a massy water change every week and i get lots of waste inside this turtle tank i transfer the water and feed it to the garden plants and after trying that the garden plants are growing like crazy they are developing thick leaves and growing very fast and the secret be behind it is that the fish waste is mostly ammonia or nitrates when the bacteria act on the nitrates the ammonia and nitrates are converted into nitrates nitrate is a good manure for the uh, yeah for the plants so that's the reason why if you transfer the aquarium water to the plants they grow very fast this is a rabbit i bought recently when i saw her in the pet store i really liked her so that's why i bought her and she don't like my goggles she don't like the goggles i'm always taking care of it I like this rabbit very much. He is the fluffiest thing I have ever bought, apart from cat. I like the cats also. This is one of the beautiful discus fish among the stunted discus I got from the first batch of discus fish that I bred here in this fish room. I will list this fish also on my website if you want. You can check it out. So I was. thinking that if i get more discus fishes i should transfer them to a big aquarium around here with big acrylic panels the acrylic panel is available at my nearest acrylic shop so if i build a big aquarium i can keep all the discuses that are growing here and that will serve my purpose of keeping discus fishes because i like the discus fishes Look at the color of this. Recently, it is showing some blue around the fins. Yeah, if I want the suggestion, should I build a big acrylic aquarium, or should I keep building 
these small small aquariums and keep all the discussed fishes or should i build a big ada 120p aquarium or a salt water or salt water aquarium so these are the options first a big acrylic aquarium of more than uh, 3000 gallons a ada 120p aquarium or a salt water aquarium give your comments in the comment section i would like to know so this is my old fish room there are some changes going to happen here i am trying to build an extension towards that side and it will be a fish room plus a studio like thing i have also some other works so i can do my uh, other works that i was doing like uh, i am into some business so i can do that work here also and also make youtube videos i will show about my land there are about 1 acre of land around my house there is some work going on here i will show the next morning so that's it for this video i hope you liked it do give the answer to the questions i have asked in the video that is which aquarium should i build should i build the big wall acrylic aquarium or should i build the ada 120p aquarium or should i build the salt water aquarium and also share one of my top videos from my channel to your friends suggesting that you should check out this cool video if you are lucky you could win a 500 rupees amazon gift voucher subscribe and turn on the notification if you are new to the channel to watch my upcoming videos see you in the next video thanks for watching bye and take care